Hi everyone, it's Haley here from the Gale Library here with your dinosaur preschool story time craft. If you joined us for story time today, you will know that we were digging for dinosaurs and we were reading books about dinosaurs today. So I thought it'd be really fun to make some dinosaurs for our craft to go alongside the books that we read. Um, so we're going to be making dinosaur masks and just some fun standing up plate dinosaurs. So you're going to need a marker and you may need some tape and maybe some uh, glue stick or school glue. And that's all you should need today. So we're going to start with our super fun dinosaurs. So if you grabbed your, um, your kit today, you should have found a half paper plate with a dinosaur head and a dinosaur tail and um, two paper towel tubes. I've actually pre-painted mine. So you should also have some paint in your craft bag. So what you're going to do is you're going to paint your dinosaur's legs and you're going to paint your dinosaur's body and you're going to leave them to dry. So I did that before. I painted a green body um, and I painted blue legs. So this is super easy. All you have to do is attach the head and the tail and you can do this using tape or school glue. So I am going to put my dinosaur head. It's hard to see because it's dark. You can see if I move to the light there. So I'm going to use tape here. Uh, and I'm going to add my dinosaur head. I'm just going to stick it right to the back of my dino, like this. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the front too, just to hold him in place. Actually, I'm going to use glue so you don't see it. So I tape the back, and I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue on the front, just to kind of hold him in place so he doesn't stick out. And then I'm going to do the same with the dinosaur's tail. I'm going to add a tiny bit of tape, and you can have it pointing up or down whichever way you would like. I'm gonna point my tail up and then I'm gonna pop a little bit of glue too so we can stick him on. So he's got his head and he's got his tail. Now, you can see in the sides of your little um, towel tubes, I cut some slits for you. And this is really easy to poke your dinosaur legs. Some legs are big and some are small, so you might have different size legs than I have. So we poke our legs <laughs> through our dinosaur. Now we're going to use our marker to just create some, maybe some spots or some patterns on our dinosaur. I'm gonna give my dinosaur some spots. Just add some little detail, make him look fun. You might also want to give him a face, maybe some eyes, a nose. You see, I'm gonna give my dinosaur a big eye because they always look more fun with eyes. There he is. Super easy, very fun. Dinosaur. So we'll stand him over here for a minute <laughs> while we make our next thing. So you'll also find in your craft bag the other half of your paper plate in which I have pre-cut the eyes and the holes at the side. You're going to have to use your paint. If you've got another color paint at home, you can paint this another color or you can use the color that we used uh, that was in your bag. Uh, so I pre-painted this one uh, and I had blue at home for my dinosaur. So you should have a piece of string in there and you're going to have some horns, actually three horns, two big ones, one small one, and a nose for your dinosaur. So again, you can use tape or you can use your glue stick and we're just gonna add the detail to this dinosaur. So we want to add his nose down here like this. It's gonna be a triceratops. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of glue here for his nose like so. And then we're going to add the smallest of the horns through the middle of the eyes. Again, we can use our school glue, uh, our glue stick for this job. We're going to stick it in there, like so. And then we're gonna add our two horns at the top and we can glue or tape whatever works for you. Whatever you have at home is great. So I'm gonna add some, oh, add some glue. We're going to stick one horn here and let's add the other one to the other side it's starting to look a little bit more like a triceratops with the horns and then our final job is to add our string so we might need some help from a grown-up to add the string so we're going to tie it through the holes that we've got already made and what you can do is measure around your head like this put it in and like I say, a grown-up can help you with your string. And it's better to do it when your dinosaur is dry so that the 
uh, so that the horns don't fall off, which I'm frightened mine are going to, because mine's still just wet. And then we have our very cool dinosaur mask. <laughs> and if you wanted to, you could add some detail with your marker too. Maybe you could add some spots or rah, see I'll add some things on the side of his face. Maybe a little spot at the top. There we go. So we have our dinosaur mask and our fun dinosaur. So have fun playing dinosaur today and enjoy your new dinosaur friends. And I will see you next week for our back to school story time and our back to school craft. Take care you guys and have an awesome dinosaur, fantastic day. Bye.